Hey gang, um, just thought I'd whoop up a little video on how to start setting up your pose library. Um, but yeah, I'm using my, my Moon Ape. Um, I'm in Blender 4.2. I had a little bit of an issue um, where the rig didn't show up when I first loaded the file up, being 4.2 and all. Um, and it's under your objects, so in your tab, so once you've click, clicked on rig, um, you go into your objects and you've got your viewport layer there. If you're not seeing your rig, just go there and flick that on. Um, that'll bring it up for you. Now we got that sorted. Um, we don't really need any of the lighting or anything like that for doing your pose library. Um, so you can hide all that, which is up in here. Now this is a bit of an asshole part I always find. Um, but down here you've got that little arrow that pops up and then you can drag up a new window and then you um, this is the R so it jumps from other screen if I go too close to the corner and throws me out of alignment uh, yeah. so we need two of these windows up so remember when you see that little cross pop up you're ready to pull up um, from here basically what we're wanting to do is we're going in here and we're just swapping to the asset library, which is right down the back corner. Uh, asset browser, sorry. Assets browsing, whatever the fuck. Um, but yeah, anyway, in here, we open. Um, here, we've got current file, is what we're after. And it's showing what's actually on your rig at the moment. Um, now from here, we go into the the dope sheet and then from the dope sheet we go to the action editor um, from here we just jump into our pose mode actually before we jump into our pose mode we need to set up a new camera um, because when you grab or save your pose to your library it automatically grabs from your camera um, so instead of messing with any of the other cameras that you've got in your scene um, just add a new camera um, I always do my camera when I'm setting it up using the the camera button up here and in my tools is your camera to view so if you click that and then you click that you're basically just pinning your camera where you want with your normal controls in Blender um, from here we probably want to drop the render to a 1920 a square um, now with that on you can't zoom you know like you get distance around your frame where if you untick it you can actually fr see I'm framing in again and I can tick that again and zoom zoom in so I haven't got as much dead space around my camera I guess um, so once you've got your camera prop where you want and you've got your camera selected up in your hierarchy up in your views um, it's in here camera set active object as camera um, now it should render from that camera for you um, and capture that so when you want to go back to one of your other cameras um, that are in your scene you know you just grab whichever one and then go up into your set as active camera but yeah so now the workspace is all set up from here it's pretty basic um, I'll jump out of my camera we go just go into pose mode um, select all your bones you press A it'll select them all um, and then Alt G R and that'll reset everything um, and yeah basically when you're doing your pose library a big thing to think about um, is like the interactiveness of your bones so like if you set your your arms with your fingers all, all 
moved out into position and all that kind of carry on um if you make like a pose of just the hand gesture those bones will get influenced by the other ones that are all be already being used so you can kind of layer things out when you're doing your pose library so this is the biggest thing to think about with actions when you're creating your pose library i guess um is what bones you work with um because that's what you're saving into your pose library um or into that pose that you're saving off i guess um so you can see i've done just a really basic one moving a few few bits and pieces now if i save so i've selected all my bones and you can see it just says create a pose asset right here for you um so once i create that it's just whacked it down here for me um and yeah to rename we'll just go pose one um it's always beneficial to rename your stuff as well then you can just delete that straight away and alt gr and set another pose so if i go like this and pose my hand like that and create a pose Now, Alt G artery set again. Now, if I go in here and I just like pose that finger for an example, um, now because I've only used those three bones, I can just select those three bones. And create a pose from that so that's my roll finger so we'll go pose roll F um, now if I go in here and I select my whole rig oh G R A oh G R and I go to this pose because I've only set three bones in that one I can apply it there and then I can apply that one back again so these are things to think about when you're playing with your pose library and what bones you want to interact and in, rah da um, but yeah that's pretty much the basics to building your pose library um, if you've got any questions feel free to fire and if i was too fast you know ranting anything out question away happy to help and cheer, cheer gang have fun <laughs>